Morning Jew is this idea we had where we just talk about the headlines of the day and what it means to the Jews. We've okay. got the sliding scale of, uh, of fealty to Jewish law happening here. I like to take my um, non-observant towards the dating boy part of the spectrum. That's all right with me. Oh, I'm mostly about the jokes and the bagels. It was Taylor Swift. Oh, no, no, the other one Taylor Swift, yeah. The other one. Which I wow, mix up with Taylor that. Dane, who is really a whole different thing from the 80s and much more funky than Taylor Swift. But I don't know much about her. I just know she won an award, and he decided to tell her she didn't deserve it when she was up there to get her speech. <laughs> wow. I guess she cannot be his black Kate Moss tonight. Oh, my God. <laughs> How does so? How does this play for the Jews? Kanye West interrupting Taylor Swift. What do you think? I gotta be honest. I don't. I don't think it has an impact on the Jews. I don't think it has anything to do with this either. But I thought I'd ask because it's Morning Jew. Congressman Joe Wilson. Another interrupting <laughs> Barack Obama of breaking a commandment. No. Thou shalt not lie. Uh, although is lying is not lying a commandment. I need to Google that. Wait. I'm sure it is. But, but don't people just project the honor of your father and mother into the president as the virtual father where you're not supposed to interrupt? Uh, I don't think this president gets that particular favor. For, for Joe Wilson, probably not. Uh, it is a year since the financial crisis was sort of officially kicked off with the bankruptcy of Lehman Brothers, September 14th. That's considered um, the that, kickoff uh, yeah, of the guys. crisis? Yeah. Lehman Brothers. Because we know the Jews are on Wall Street, right? I think the biggest chazer, I feel like the Wall Street screwing over America has been equated into Jews screwing over America, because that could have happened. I don't know if that's happening. I mean, I'm not living I in really small town Midwest. It might be there. What's that? I have not seen that happening at all. But we'd love to hear from others if it is happening to you. I don't know. It could depends maybe where you live. I think we should get someone on the show who can be our Jews and money talker because honestly, Jews have avoided talking about the Jews and money thing for a while and it's clearly money's a problem these days for many people and I'm interested in, in uh, if we have any special insight. You know, since we're reputed to have these superpowers where we magically make money appear in a thin air at any time, I'd love to see. I don't see any around here, but I, that would be great. I could be entertaining. Yeah, you know what? That is 100% a myth, I have decided, as applied to my own life. Like, do you think of the money? Living proof. That's not, not true. Why universally. Absolutely. Obama and Bill Clinton are having lunch. You know how, um, how, was it Maya Angelou? Who said that, that Bill Clinton was America's first black president? Didn't somebody say Toni Morrison? Since Obama had Passover in the White House, does that make him the first Jewish president? Uh, that's a very good point, and he's got Rom. He's certainly, of, and, and Axelrod. He it's, certainly counts as Jewish. He's, he's not, a very Jewish president. He, he's, he like likes to play sports, but let's face it, he's not like hardcore jock like he'd like to be. You know, he's very booky. He went to law school. He's a little Jewy. I think. Like, uh, Rosh Hashanah is written, and on Yom Kippur it is sealed. What? And in that time, what is between, written? you just want to repent the fuck out of everything. What is written and what is sealed? I'd like to know. Uh, your fate in the book of life or Jews not. believe in fate? This is news to me. I've never understood anything they were saying in shul ever, so I'm learning from you. Um, well, the whole thing is that, like, who will be written in the Book of Life, who will be inscribed in the Book of Life, and who will live and who shall die, who shall, you know, it's that. I know, it's harsh. Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur are really harsh holidays. Rosh Hashanah, like, lures you in with apples and honey. But if you really read the Siddur, you go, like, wait, who shall die by fire, and who by water, who by bees? It's like how you are going to buy the sword. <laughs> It's the how you're going to bite that time of year. This is my family. You know, we just mostly made chopped liver and had relatives come in from the city and, and ate. Yeah, say hi to Mama Gold. I will. Uh, and your mother butter. as well. Okay, awesome. I will let my mom know. Um, and um, and we'll see you um, next. Should we have a sign off? Um, you what's okay? Um, Jews. I don't know. <laughs> Shalom. Yes. Okay, yeah, we'll work on the sign-off. Yeah, we need to yit it up a little bit. We'll see. We'll see. Let's see I know. You. Here's what my grandmother would say. Bye-bye for now. Bye-bye for now.